When a track is made active, it's possible to explore it in greater detail using the Tools menu. One of the first things you'll notice at the very top is there's a Play button labeled Show Animal Movement. When you click this button, you can follow the animal's movement as it made the track. And in the upper right-hand corner of the map, you'll see the dates moving along as the animal swims along that track that it made. You can also explore the other kinds of data that were recorded about the animal's behavior. For example, we can look at the maximum depth the animal dove to each day. We can look at its speed. We can look at the curviness of the track. We can also look at the sea surface temperature and the chlorophyll that was measured each day as the animal made its way along the track. Using these tools, we can learn a lot more about the animal's behavior. So for example, if we want to learn a little bit more about the animal's speed, let's say we want to select a part of the track where the animal was moving especially fast. We can do that by moving these time sliders and selecting a portion of the track where the animal's speed was especially high. As I make this selection, there are a couple of things that you'll notice. One is that we're getting a much more detailed view of this uh, speed graph right down below. You'll also notice that on the map itself, that portion of the track is highlighted that we've just selected. By mousing over this more detailed view, we can get specific dates and measurements. So for example, on June 16th, the animal was moving at an average speed of five kilometers per hour. Over here on June 26th, its average speed was lower at 2.5 kilometers per hour. The average speed along the entire track is shown down at the bottom at 3.75 kilometers per hour. If we scroll up a little bit, you'll see at the bottom that there are two other tools that we can work with here. One is the Add Measurements tool, and the other is the View Measurement Table tool. If we go to Add Measurements, it brings up an interactive form that we can fill out. So right now we're interested in speed, so we might fill out that the average speed was 3.75 kilometers per hour. The minimum speed that we saw was 2.5 kilometers per hour. And the maximum speed was 5 kilometers per hour. We can write in some notes. And we can save our observations so that we can look at them later. If we want to look at observations that we've made, we can click our view measurement table and it will show the measurements that we just put in. And we can make a whole bunch of those so that later we can go back and compare the measurements that we've made across different portions of the track or from one track to another. We can also export that in the form of a CSV file that we can work with in other programs.